Hello, class. Hello. Hello, you teacher. Good you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. What about the rest of you? How are you? Pretty good? Yes, yeah, teacher. How was your weekend? Um, well, my weekend was uh, very busy. Uh, yeah, lots of things to do, but, um, you know, it was, it was good. And, you know, um, at least I, it was a change in routine. Yes. <laughs> How about your weekend, Heidi? How was your weekend? Uh, it was great. I got the visit of my from Las Vegas and we went to Santa Ana to visit our last cousin. And we had a great time to do. Is it from, from, from Las Vegas? My last uncle. It's the, I used to have five uncles, but oh. uh, the other one's already passed. So we got, you know, though it's the last one. Oh, I see. Okay. And we went to visit him together. Oh, nice. Very, very, uh, Has your nice husband time. already come? Hmm? Has your husband already come? He's gone already. He he oh. left last Tuesday. Oh my! Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm uh, I'm sure you enjoyed his visit. Yeah. Yeah. Only five days, but five days. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. It's tough. How how often does he come? At this time, he came uh, three months. Oh, no. uh -huh. and we, we're supposed to see him again on, on December. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that'll be nice. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, so in three months as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah, because it's tough. It's tough to have, um, you know, a loved one so far away, especially if it's a husband, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Are you yeah, right. going to be uh, like? Are your plans are to move over there uh, with him, or do you have it decided yet? Or that's the plan. That's why I'm getting ready. Ah, okay, good, good. Where does he live? In San Francisco. Oh, okay. San Francisco is a beautiful city. It's a very beautiful. Beautiful. City. Yeah. Have you ever visited? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, San Francisco is a very nice city. Um, it's. Uh, I like it. It's not my favorite, but I like it. It's not your favorite. <laughs> Why not? Why isn't your favorite? Too expensive. Uh, well, yeah. As yeah. we're trying to find out a a, a house and. Yeah. Almost a million dollars. They're too expensive. Oh, to buy a house? Oh, no, I wouldn't recommend buying a house right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I would recommend uh, settling down first, and then you guys can see what you can do to, to get a house. Yeah. But no, I, I, I definitely would recommend, um, you know, getting into a, a, that kind of mortgage yet, right? Because you know, you, you first need to settle down, you need to know the area, you need to see what you really like, too, right? Like, once you're there, you're going to be able to see, like, for example, uh, where your job is going to be, you know, and uh, so what area is more convenient for you and all those things. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So is that going to happen anytime soon? Do you know or you don't know yet? Not really soon. Okay, okay. Not so, really soon. So there's still a bit of time. Okay. All right. Well, guys, welcome to today's class. I'm glad to see um, everybody or at least the majority of people. There are still people that haven't connected, but I'm glad to see the people that I do see. I'm glad to see you guys. How was your weekend? School, I had a visit of one of my uncles. 
Oh. But he came. <laughs> oh, okay. He came to our home and this weekend we... was, uh, the weekend for uncles. Okay. Uh huh. Exactly. And we took advantage to eat typical food. So I had a long time not eating sopa de patas. <laughs> it was oh, so delicious. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then eating and talking a lot. We had a spend a good time. Good spend a good time. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I really yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so where where did you go? Oh no no, he came to our home. Uh, oh okay. So uh, he came to our home to visit we us. Patas at home. Yeah. Well, in fact, here near to my home, uh, I have a uh, special neighbors that they cook a lot. People here around my home cook oh. a lot of food. And you can choose whatever you want. So hamburger, oh, house dogs, uh huh. And on Sunday they cook some this special specialty food because, as far as I understand, it takes a long time to cook this type of soup. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. So on Sunday, it, here near to my area people try to cook something special so they sell it yeah. and we take advantage of that no we don't well do you know what I, i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you a story um as why i never eat sopa de patas <laughs> why <laughs> uh, collagen, teacher. okay yeah but once you hear my story you'll understand <laughs> Okay, so the thing is that um, my mom used to make sopa de pata over there in Canada, right? And, um, you know, so my mom's actually a very good cook. Um, so she loves cooking and she's very good at it. And, you know, so one day uh, we, she was making the sopa de pata. Uh, it's, uh, it was a Sunday morning, mm -hmm. but we had to, we had to go out. Um, and we had some guests over uh, on Sunday afternoon. Well, Sunday for dinner. It was for dinner. So, um, you know, and she was going to make the sopa de pata, you know, so that it was, uh, you know, uh, you know, so that we can have it, you know, and have it for, for, for us, uh, the supper and everything. So anyway, the thing is that that day um, we left in the morning to do some some air to run some errands and do some things but we took longer than we expected mm -hmm. and my mom was cooking you know the you know the, mm -hmm. the, all the stuff you know all of the stuff right um and she had left it with a, a slow cook oh. was, you know just a little bit of 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 of, of um uh fire mm -hmm. so you know so it was it was very low, it was very low temperature, but because we took so long, we took longer than we expected, the water, you know, was um was consumed. So so um what happened was that the actual tripe started to to um stick to the um. to the um to the bowl, to the to the casserole. Mm -hmm. And um, well, the thing is that by the time we got home, that is smell. Got home actually because we lived we lived in a uh, I don't know if you know a cooperative, right? So it's like a like a let's say like a building uh, with many many um, apartment buildings, but it's like the it's a it's a cooperative, so everybody works together and helps each other and. Um, somebody has a master key, right? They have a master key to, to be able to open in case of an emergency. So anyways, when we got home, uh, we found all of the windows and doors open and everything because the, the neighbors, they started smelling something really bad. And so they said, oh my goodness, you know, there's something going on there. <laughs> so, so they, they went, they reported it and they went and they opened the, the, our house and they, you know, they started to open everything. Anyway, that smell lasted. Can you imagine, um, can, can you imagine the smell of, um, <laughs> of you know, 
know, um, what, what would it be like? Uh, milk Bowl, uh -huh. intestines. Uh, that was horrible. So from there on, I never ate sopa de patas ever again because that smell, I just. You're still living in your memory. Yeah. So that was, so that was my bad experience. So I never eat sopa. <laughs> I used to like it, but now I never eat it. Yeah. I just can't imagine. <laughs> what about experience? Yeah, that's that 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 happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Well, welcome to today's class. I'm After like, talking so about that. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> later, I'm going to take our attendance. Um, so we have Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, and Andres. Present teacher. Right, and Claudia. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Edgar. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Um, Irvin. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Right. Great. Heidi. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Irene. Present teacher. All right. Ivan. Ivan's not here? Okay. All right. Um, Jose. Uh, sorry, Jose Montes. Okay. Um, what about Jose Ayala? Present teacher. Okay. Great. Um, and Josue? Present teacher. All right. Um, and Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, great. Jury. Jury, is jury here? No, okay. All right, Luis. Luis? No, okay. All right. Um, what about Natalia? No, Natalia? Okay, and Ronald. Present teacher. All right, welcome Ronald. Ronald. Wendy. Wendy. Warner. And Yvonne. Present. Okay, wonderful. Let me just make sure that I haven't missed anybody. I didn't hear Ivan. Jose Montes, Jerry, Luis, Wendy, and Warner. That's it, right? Everybody else is here. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you had a wonderful weekend and you are ready to recharge those batteries and get going on our, our, this week. Well, the good news is that this week is going to be like a short week. We're going to feel like it's like two short weeks because we have two days and then we go on a semi vacation and then we have another two days. Okay, so it's gonna feel very short. This week is gonna feel a little strange, but, but it's gonna be good. Okay, because we, we will have a break right in the middle. Okay, so we are going to begin uh, with our, um, our PowerPoint, please tell me if you can see it. Can you yes. See? Yeah? Okay. All right. So, oh, okay. So, indirect information questions. That's our topic for this, um, this class. And your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate two and it's class number 18. Okay, so let's begin. Now, we're going to do a quick review of what we learned last class. And uh, I wanna make sure that everybody understands it. Okay, so right now, um, all right. So we're gonna be looking at the word about indirect questions. But right now we are just going to concentrate on give me a moment. Okay, we are concentrating on indirect questions 
that are um, Um, let me see. No, it doesn't specify here. Okay, but here it does, right? Um, over here in my in my topic, it says here, yes or no questions. So these are, at this point, we're just looking at indirect questions where the answer is going to be yes or no. Okay, an example is this one, right? I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production proce uh, process. And the answer is going to be yes, I have. No, I haven't. Right? Um, sorry, yes, I, sorry, yes, I did, or no, I, I didn't. That would be the answer. Or did you receive a copy of the analysis? Oh, no, sorry. That's um, the direct question. Um, or this one Should the quality control step be repeated once this product is finished? Yes, it should. No, it shouldn't. Right? So these are yes or no questions. Okay. And with yes or no questions, we learned. Well, first of all, with indirect questions, why do we use indirect questions instead of using direct questions? What's the difference? Who can tell me? I remember you say we use that when we want to ask or find out information that maybe we cannot ask them as a direct question. Who sound rude? Right, exactly. Okay, so the, not that we can't ask directly, but if we ask directly, it, it may sound rude or it, it, may, or it may sound um, like you're imposing on the person, right? Okay, so um, if we want to um, ask a very sensitive question or you want to ask a person a question that's like very personal, and maybe you've only learned, you've only met them for the first time. The, your best get, your best bet would be going for indirect questions. Okay, and like I said, today we're going to be um, concentrating on the yes or no. So first of all, the first thing we got to do is understand that indirect questions begin with an indirect question phrase. Okay, for words like, I'll just get to. Let me change that. Where it's like, I wonder, I'd like to know, would you mind telling us, could you find out, okay? Now, if you say, I wonder, or I'd like to know, this is not really a question. If you just say, I wonder, you have to say what you wonder. What is the thing that you wonder? I'd like to know, also, you want you have to say what what is the thing that you would like to know. So really, this is not a real question, okay? And that's why the punctuation is a little bit different. In this case, there is it's a real question. Would you mind telling us right there already? If I say, would you mind telling us, that indicates a real question, or could you find out? That indicates a real question. That is why in this one, the punctuation is different, okay? So in this case, the punctuation for this one is just a period, okay? It's a regular period. But for this one, there's a question mark, right? And the reason why there's a question in mark is because it's a real question, right? The same thing goes for this, okay? Now, after that, we use if, right? Only for yes or no questions, okay? So when you see the if, you identify automatically that it's a yes or no question, okay? All right, and after that, um, you can add the subject. Okay, um, so I'm going to add right now you, in this case, it's you. Here it's the quality control step. Here it's the cost to run a second quality control. Okay, here it is the production manager. Okay, after that, we use the verb 
right? And if you need an auxiliary, we also use the auxiliary. Okay, so um, we have should be should be repeated, okay, um, received, okay, will go, is, okay. and then we have the complement, right, okay, so the complement could be, for example, um, a copy of the analysis for the production process, once the production is finished, very high, or around, okay? So there you go, those, that's the structure. And just to make sure that you understand it, I will write down here the structure. So we have um, the indirect, um, indirect question phrase. Okay. Then after that, we use if after that we use the, um, the uh, subject. And then we have the verb, but if the verb needs an auxiliary, we'll use an auxiliary. Okay. And then the complement. Okay. So that is the structure that we're going to be using. Any questions about that structure? Oh, no. Questions about that structure? Now, just what I just want to clarify something that when I when I say auxiliary, I'm not talking about all the auxiliaries. I'm only talking about well, basically, I'm talking about all the auxiliaries except for these ones that we have here. These ones here, do, does, or did. Never add these auxiliaries. Okay, so you can use other auxiliaries. For example, in this one, we have should, right? That's a, that's a modal auxiliary, so that's okay. In this one, we have will, which is also a modal auxiliary. Okay, so that's okay. You can use that. But what we can't use is the auxiliaries do, does, or did. Okay, how do you guys feel about that? I guess that we have to practice to understand. Of course, of course, we, we need to practice and we will, but do we understand the theory behind it? Is yes, that... for me, yes. All right, great. What about the others? Do you feel that the theory is clear or do you have any questions about this? about the structure. Okay. I just wanna make sure that you guys understand it. So how do you say this in Spanish? I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. How do you say that? In Spanish. Me pregunto si recibió una copia del análisis de, de proceso de producción. Perfect. Thank you very much, Luis. Oh, sorry, not Luis. Who is it? Who is helping me? I didn't even see who. Luis. Yeah, it was Luis, right? Yes. 
Okay, okay, good. It's just that you, I, I, I thought I would heard your voice, but I wasn't sure because the, the camera was not turned on. Okay, but great. Okay, thank you very much, please. Okay, um, so yes, exactly. Me pregunto si usted recibió una copia de análisis de la del proceso de producción. Okay, good. So here we're being very, you know, it's very polite. It's very formal, okay? And it's different from this one, which you go directly. Did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? Now, this is not incorrect. That's okay. Grammatically speaking, this is okay. But the only thing is that if you are talking to, um, you know, your boss, for example, um, you want to be very polite. So this probably would be better than using this one. Okay. Now, I want you to notice that just like I told you before, um, the, the, in this one, we use did, right? The, the, uh, the, model, the model did. But over here, we use no did. Do you see that? The only thing that help, the, the did helps us with is to know that the verb is in the past. That is why over here, we put received. Not receive, but received, because this did this is not present, but it tells us that the, the verb is in the past. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah, so even though we are not going to include did, but we are going to take that into as consideration to put received in the current form. Okay. All right. Um, all right, is that clear for everybody? Yeah. What about this one? I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. How would you say that in Spanish? Quien se atreve? I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Me gustaría saber si el mm -hmm. proceso de control de calidad debería ser repetido una vez que el producto esté finalizado. Okay, very good. Yeah, very, very similar, huh? Exactly. So, See, me gustaría saber si blah, 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 is really not a question, right? It's just saying, yeah, eso es lo que me gustaría saber, okay? So that's why, again, I repeat, use periods for these ones. I wonder and I like to know. What about this one? Martha, would you mind telling us if the cost to rent a second uh, quality control will go very high? How do you say that? How do you say that? Martha, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Anybody? Okay, let me ask individually then. Um, Yvonne. Could you give it a try? How would you say that in Spanish? Let's start with the, the, the simple part. Would you mind telling us? How would you say that in Spanish? Podrías, podrías decirnos si el costo de correr un segundo control de calidad sería muy alto. Okay, very good. Um, very close. Um, this is not podría. Uh, this is more like when you say would you mind is um, le importaría. Okay, so le importaría decirnos, okay, all right, does that make sense? 
Yes. Sounds good for everybody. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. And what about the last one, Greg? Could you find out if the production manager is around? Who can help me with that one? Okay, let me ask uh, Irene. Irene, can you help us with this one? Irene, can you hear us? Irene? Irene, Irene, can you hear it? Can you hear us? Do you, can you open up the microphone? Yes, a little because it's raining a lot at home. Oh, okay. I see. I understand. Okay. No worries. No worries. Okay. All right. How about Irvin? Irvin, do you want to give it a shot? How would you say that in Spanish? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Greg, ¿me podrías encontrar? No, investigar sería, find out. Si la producción gerenciada está alrededor o está caminando. Um, what is the production manager? The production manager is a person that gives the information about how was the product in the sequence in the one factory. Okay. Good. So how do you is say it's around is maybe but the production okay. is a, a is go ahead with the format about the computer have in the factory. Okay. Uh, how do you say production manager in Spanish? Gerente producción. Good. Okay. And when you say that if something or somebody is around. Around is alrededor. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, Greg, could you find out, or Greg, me podrías averiguar o investigar? Sí. Si? La pro, si el gerente de producción está alrededor. Ajá. Uh -huh, si el 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 pa uh, gerente. Si el gerente de produ producción está cerca sería. Está cerca. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está It's, cerca. Es around. Spanish yes. would say cerca. Si está cerca. In English we say around. Okay. Okay. Very good. Exactly. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for you, teacher. All right. So, any questions so far? It's pretty clear. Teacher, can we use the auxiliar have and have with this structure? Uh, yes, we can. The only ones that are not included are do, does, and did. All the other, okay. all the other auxiliaries are called possible. That's why, why I put this in parentheses, right? Because if you, if you need it, yes, you can use it. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So somebody said we need to practice. Oh, sorry, yes. Teacher, sorry, me another. The um, yes, when can we use uh, narrative uh, structure with this kind of questions? Um, you mean like the verb making native? Sorry. You mean like the verb making negative least? Yes, the auxiliary won't, wouldn't. Um, yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, thank yeah. you. Jim. Um, it's not very common, but you could. Okay, 
Um, remember that mostly in, in questions, we don't usually use negatives in questions, but, but it is possible. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, hey, teacher, I have a question uh, with the auxiliaries. Uh, you said that we can use do or does and deal. We can. It's necessary. We, we can. can. No. And what about when you say, do you mind if I call you uh, Jessica? Yeah, but that's part of the indirect question phrase. Okay, that's part of the indirect question phrase. But what you can use it is over Would. here in the auxiliary part. We can't use the do, does, or did. Okay, if it's okay. part, if the do or did is part of, sorry, the do or does is part of the indirect question phrase, that's okay, right? That's okay, but, um, but not part of- Not part of the auxiliary. Part of the auxiliary of the main verb. Okay? Yes, the tree. All right, any other questions? That's a very good question, yes, thank you. Thank you for asking. Any other questions that you guys have? Okay. All right. Well, like they say, manos a la obra, right? Okay. So I have a question. Please be honest with me. Uh, did we do this? Did we complete these exercises? Come on, tell me, be honest. To be honest, I forget it. Me too. I'm sorry. <laughs> me too. Okay. Oh, well, I prefer you guys to be honest with me than to, um, you know, say, oh, yes, teacher, we did it. And then everybody's like quiet because no one knows the answer. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. So what we'll do is the following then. How about if we work in pairs and complete these exercises? Okay. Does that work for you guys? Sounds good? Yes. Yeah? All right. Okay, so I'm going to assign you into breakout rooms with your partner. Just give me a second while I do that. Um, okay, so, and I'm going to give you how does 10 minutes sound? Do you think you will finish in 10 minutes? There are only six exercises. So it's almost like two minutes per exercise or per, per yeah. Yeah, pretty much for percent for per question. Sounds good? Yeah, okay. All right, let's, so let's open up the rooms right now. Those questions are in the material, right? Yeah. Can you share them? I'm looking for okay. You found it? I haven't found them there. Which page is it? I guess that is page 28. Yes, it's page 28, correct.
and beloved of the spirit is the is the sent are the sentence during. Do you have any questions? No, not teacher. I will oh, take them to your right. It's clear for you? Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Okay. I guess the number one is can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? So those are not questions, those are like teacher we are kind of we, we need to organize these uh, questions in order to make them yes no questions right no because the question the question is already there uh -huh. machinery be capable of performing these process that's the, the direct the direct question. Mm -hmm. So we are going to convert it in an in, indirect. Ah, okay. I, we understood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Eh, okay. I like to know. Mm, what do you think in the number two, Ivonne? Mm, I think is I like to know if the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce or order some time. Okay, demo, let's see. I'd like to know if will buy, you know? What's that? Is, uh, if the machine is consumed, uh -huh. if the machine well, uh, is processed in the derivation from If the manufacturer yes. will buy Seria, mm -hmm. uh, is will the manufacturer Remember, follow the order. The order is the indirect question phrase. After that, we use if, mm -hmm. then we use the subject, and then the verb. So don't forget. Have a sentence. If the manufacturer will buy the machine to produce our orders.
Very okay. good, guys. Very good. Miss Jessica. Yeah. Uh, with the uh, indirection question, uh, we just uh, plus if and the uh, question mark, but I don't know if it's correct, the form, of, I don't know. Um, it's in the form of a question. Sorry, sorry, it's not in a form of a question. It's about a form of a regular sentence. So first goes the subject and then goes the verb. But in the first one, uh, is correct in the action question, could you tell me if the machinery capable of performing these processes without a question mark? No, that's fine. With the question mark is fine because when you okay. say, can you tell me, uh, when you say, can you tell me um, your, it's a, it's a question, directly a question. Can you tell me, I could see it, right? So yes, that's okay. You, you can put the, the, um, the question mark. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So are you guys finished? Almost. Hey, that's it's good. Finished. Yeah, that's great. Okay. All right. Any other questions that you guys have? No. No? Okay, good. All right. See you in the main room in about a minute, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, number five, the, the question mark. Do you have any idea if we go for small bus of mass production? Okay, it's like, would you, no. Yeah. Auxiliar, I don't know the auxiliary uh, auxiliar use. Um, Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi teacher. Oh uh, teacher. Hi. Me, yo acá tengo dos cuentas. Lo único que estoy uno en un lado y estoy aquí en otro. Ah, es que no. Me estaba conectando. Me estaba. Quedó repartido. De, de que... Es repartido. No, es que desconecté de mi computer, teacher. Ay. Ok, ok. Ahorita, ahorita lo voy a mandar. Vaya, quiero ver. Ok. No, lo voy a mandar ahí. No, no me había dado cuenta. Yo vi que entró, pero yo pensaba que no había entrado todavía. Yo pensaba que era la primera vez que estaba entrando, pues no. No, ya había entrado, teacher, pero venía en el carro. Entonces, ah, ok. Ok, es que no lo había visto. Ok. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Um, hoy sí, nos, ya nos unimos. <laughs> ya, las dos, las dos partes se unieron. <laughs> I, I know, y ahora se... No, ya me desconecté de uno porque ya... Ah, ok, yo pensé ah, que... Ah, ya se desapareció. Ya salió la, la pantalla oficial. <laughs> ah, ok. Ah, bueno, ok, ok. De acuerdo. Ok. All right, you guys finished? No, uh, teacher. No teacher. We are working. We're working. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Um, one more minute. Sounds good? Um, yes, I think so. Uh, two will be better. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, 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 we'll see what we can do. Okay. okay. Number number four, Luis, is a... Uh, uh, there is. There. Uh -huh. there is. But there is... No. Tell me. Yeah. Go ahead, tell me. Okay. There is an auxiliary. Bull, bull, you? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Are we ready? Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> have a lot of doubts. Doubts. Oh, okay. What doubts do you have? For example, 
can you can you give me an example for the question number one just to, to know if we are in the way or we are lost sure give me a second give me one second ¿Qué pasó? Oh, Me lo quitaron. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Ok, sorry. Ok, all right. Um, ok, let me try that again. So, can you tell me? We're always going to start with the, the indirect question phrase, right? Can you tell me? Okay. And then we, after that, we have to use if, right? So the mm -hmm. next word is if, right? After if, we use the subject. So the subject is the machine, the machinery, right? Right? The machinery capable. No, 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 no. Just the subject. Only the subject, okay? And after that, we go with the verb, okay? The verb is? The verb is? The verb is, is, right? Right yes. there. Okay. If the machinery is, and then we continue with the complement, right? The complement is capable of performing these processes. Okay, and there you go. And a question mark, Don't forget the question mark. So at the end, teacher, we couldn't see nothing. Ah, okay. Can you tell me? You can see it? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay good. Teacher, so it's, it's only uh, the, le the word if. At um, no, we have to put the if. And then goes the subject. In this case, the subject is the machinery. Ah, and yeah, then the change, verb. Change uh -huh. the, the order. The verb, the verb. The order, yes, exactly. Uh huh. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Now we, I think we are so clear. Okay. Right, Yes, Edgar? Yeah, thank you, teacher. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, see you in a moment. Okay, teacher. No, try to, try. Yeah. Did you see it? Hello, guys. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, teacher. Are you ready? Yes, teacher, we finish. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, it's time to check. See if you guys are able to see my PowerPoint. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do this like they say in Spanish, dedo prácticamente. Okay. So we're going to write down the answers. 
So we will start with Heidi. Could you help me with number one, please? Can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? that i'm sorry i didn't bring my glasses teacher oh it's okay no hold on i'll make it bigger <laughs> so that you don't have to worry about that okay how about that yes teacher like that yes okay all right okay thank you very much let's move on to the next person Let's have, um, let's see, um, Claudia. Claudia, could you help me with number two? Yes. I like, I like to know if the manufacturer buy new machine to grow our order on time. Okay, I'd like to know if? If the ma manufacturer Hmm? Buy new ma machine to produce our orders on time. Question mark or period? Yes. No, question mark or period? Which one? Question mark. Okay. Okay, so like that, is that okay? Is that okay? Claudia? Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. It's too big. Oh. I don't know, can you guys see it? I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'll leave it like that. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. Number three, Juan Francisco. Francisco? Um, your microphone is um, off. I need you, you need to turn it on. Uh, Juan Francisco, the, the microphone, you need to open up your microphone. You're not, hold on. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. Yes, we can hear you now. Mm -hmm. Number three, I I wonder is you now. Um, the schedule and production control. Want complete. Like this? Um, yes. Uh, point, point mark. Period. 
Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Just like that, right? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Number four. Let's have uh, Ronald. Could you help me with number four, please? Ronald, are you there? Ronald, you there, Ronald? Okay, all right, apparently he's not. So um, let's see. Um, Sway, help me with number four, please. Okay. I'd like to find out if the operation plans describe the process parameters with question mark. I'd like to find out if, if the operation plan describe the process parameters. Like that? With question mark. With a question mark, like this. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Um, uh, Claudia, are, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, wonderful. All right. Um, would you help us with number five, please? Yes. Uh, we decide with, I want to make it is that I'd like to know if we will go for a small batch or mass production. Like this? With a, uh -huh, with a question, question mark at the end. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay, so that's it. Okay. All right. And number six, we'll have um, Jose help us with number six, please. Okay. I wonder if you receive the quotes of the raw material providers. The quotes. The quotes. Like that? Yes, the true. Okay. Um period or question mark? Question mark, teacher. Okay. Okay, all right. So we have answered all of these and I want you guys to now tell me what the names are. Sorry, what the names are, sorry. What the, so if you consider that the answers are correct or not. So let's start with the first one, number one. Can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? Do you think that it's correct or not? It's correct. Teacher, we have, we have a doubt in that it's possible to use could instead of can. Actually, the instructions told us that we had to use um, the the beginning that we oh, okay so we 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 actually part of the instructions for uh, following the instruction is to use exactly the information mm -hmm. that they have given us the okay production right okay so in this one would be okay yes exactly 
So can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing this process? Is that okay for everybody? Sure, I have a question. Yeah. The question mark, is it has to be or no? Okay, what do you guys think? Do we need the question mark, yes or no? Because in the examples, there are not question marks. If you, can you tell me, is it a real question? Or a statement? For me, it's a question. It's a question too. It's a question, yes. Can you tell me, it's like saying, me podría decir, blah, blah. So that's a question. That's a real question. Okay. So yes, we're gonna use the question mark. So yes, I believe this is correct. Okay, next. I'd like to know if the manufacturer buy new machinery to produce our orders on time. How do you guys feel about that? For me, it's okay. Everybody thinks it's okay? And will? Ah, okay. So will is an auxiliary, right? Mm -hmm. So where do we put the auxiliary? Uh, will buy? We put it with the, we put it um, after the subject, right? Subject, uh -huh. Before the verb. So yes, it's going to be right here. Okay. Okay, so don't forget that. We need to have it there. Okay, sounds good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, good, next. I wonder if you know the schedule and production control forms complete. What do you guys think about that one? Is somebody trying to give me an answer? No. No. no? Okay. All right. So, what do you guys think? What about this one? I wonder if you know. Complete. You say that we need to use the introductory phrases. <laughs> right. Very good. So we need to use. Do you know? Phrase the introductory phrase that has been given us. But in this case, we have to use. Do you know? No. We, we're not going to change this. We're going to keep it with "Do you know?" Okay. So we're going to change the part. Okay. So it's going to be "Do you know?" If Anything else? If the schedule and production control. If the if the schedule. Okay. And production control. We're gonna forms part, right because do you know complete? That, right? Then we use the verb. Then we use the if. Then the the subject. Subject. Mm -hmm. Right. The schedule and production control. Forms. forms. Mm -hmm. That is the subject, right? Yes, and then are the complete. Then we use the verb. verb. Right? We use the verb. What is the verb? Are. Are. To be. So we need to use are. Okay. So if the product complete. production control forms are complete. And question mark. Question mark. Because because do you know is a real question. Sounds good? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we always remember that hay que seguir el orden de la estructura. No pueden cambiarla. Si, si, si la cambian o se inventan otra, va, va a salirles mal. Ok, entonces tienen que seguir esa orden. Siempre siguen la orden que les sacaron. Ok. All right. Number four. I'd like to find out if the operation plan describe the process parameters. Mm -hmm. 
questions? Do we have the answer? For me, it's correct. Correct? Yeah, for me too. Okay. Anybody have any objection? Okay. All right. So remember what I told you before? We have to eliminate the do, the does, and the did, right? So it's a good thing we, we didn't we, we didn't include this, right? So that we didn't include the does. That's excellent. But what happens is that the does tells us that mm -hmm. we have to use this, the, the simple present, right? Mm -hmm. The does is telling us, okay, um, yes, we're not going to use it, but we need to put it in the third person singular of the simple present. Mm -hmm. So what would we have to change? Describes, Describes. Gonna, with S. Exactly. <laughs> we would have to put the pun describes the process parameter. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, it can. Yeah? Okay, next one. I'd like to know if we will go for a small batch or mass production. Mm, no, it's incorrect because not respecting the beginning. <laughs> yes, exactly. From the beginning, we need to remember, we need to uh, have the same introduction, introduction. So it has to be. Do you have any idea if we will go for a small uh, batch or mass production? Good. Do you have any idea if we will, we will go, go for a small batch or mass production? Mm -hmm. Okay. And yes, the the the. The question mark is correct because do you have any idea is a real question. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I wonder if you receive the quotes of the raw material providers. I was wondering mm -hmm. if you received. So we're going to keep the same, right? I was wondering if you received receives good because even though we're not going to be using the did but the did tells us that it's in the past, in the past. However, the receive has to be in the past okay mm -hmm. sounds good yes okay all right and there you go those are the answers how do you feel about that? Teacher, and that one is question mark at the end, right? Oh, um, no. It's not. Uh... Thank you for bringing that up. I forgot to change that one. No, we're going to put a period. Why? Because not a question. I was wondering, it's not a question. Yo me preguntaba, but that's not a question. Yo me preguntaba algo, but that's not a question. Okay. All right, and there you go. Those are the answers. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to stop sharing because we need to take attendance now. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, do that right now. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Great. Andres? Present teacher. Great. Claudia? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, can we see your face? Okay. I don't know if it's just me, but uh, there she is. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you very much, Claudia. Solo porque tenemos que seguir los protocolos, ¿verdad? De Insaforp. Okay. Um, Edgar. Present teacher. Thank you. Irvin. Present teacher. Great. Heidi. Present teacher. Okay. Great. Irene. Okay, great. Uh, Ivan? No, Ivan. Okay, 
Uh, Jose Montes. No, right, no, Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Great. Um, Josué. Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Great. Jury. Yes. Jury. No. Luis. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Natalia. No. Uh, Ronald. Ronald. Okay. Yes. Present teacher. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. Good. Um, Wendy. Wendy. No. Okay. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. All right. And Yvonne. Present. All right. Perfect. Okay. Let's continue, guys. Um, okay. Just tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you guys see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So first of all, uh, I have some questions there for you. Does your company manufacture products? I want you to um, raise your virtual hand if your company manufactures products. So raise your hand for your virtual hand. Levanten su manita virtual. So I have two people, only two people. Mm -hmm. Four people. Five people. Okay, only five people. Oh, okay. All right. So about almost one third of the class uh, works in a company where you manufacture a product. Okay. All right. You guys can lower your hands. Are production processes updated frequently in your job? Yes. Put up now, put up your hand if in your job, in your workplace, the production processes are updated frequently. No, nobody? Las manitas virtuales? Okay, all right, interesting. Is there a quality control department at your company? Or raise your hand. Okay, so we have three people now raising a hand. Who has a quality control department in your company? Levanten sus manitas virtuales. So we have five people. Only five people. Okay, so again, one third of the class. Okay, sounds good. All right, you guys can lower your hands now. All right, so now we have this conversation between three managers that are in a meeting discussing the production process of a new shampoo. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. Okay, so I have here the conversation between Lucia, Martha, and Greg. So let's read out loud the conversation. I wonder if I wonder if I wonder if I wonder if, if, I wonder if you received the copy. You received the copy. copy. The copy. You received the copy. Of the analysis. Of the analysis. For the production. 
process. For the production, the production. production. The production. process. Okay. Remember, production. 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 Yeah. I have. Thank you. I have. I have. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Um, okay. Just I have just before we continue, um, Heidi, do you have a question or se le se le quedó pegada la la manita? Se me quedó pegada. Ah, okay, okay. I'll just lower it. Then. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, all right. Let's continue. I'd like us to revise. I like us to revise. I like us to revise. To revise. I'd like us to revise. I'd like us to revise. Good. So this is not revise, it's revise. And this is I'd. I'd. Which is short for I would. Okay, so instead of saying I would, you say I'd. It's short. I. Mm -hmm. I. The steps to verify. The steps to verify. Verify. That we are ready. That we are ready. We are ready. We are ready. To start producing. We we'll start, start producing. producing. Our new shampoo. Our new shampoo. Good shampoo. Right. 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 I'd like to know. I'd like, I'd like, like, like to know. know. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. I'd, I'd like, like to know. If the quality control. If the quality, quality control, control, control. Should be repeated. Should be repeated. Should be repeated. Once the production. Once the once production. The production. Sorry, the product. My mistake. The product. My mistake. My, once the product. Sorry. Once the product. Once, once the, the product, product is finished. Is finished. Is finished. Yeah. 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 Uh, That's a good point, Greg. That's, That's a, a good, good point, 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 Greg. Greg. Point, Martha, 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 would you mind telling us? Would you, would you mind, mind, mind telling, us? telling us if the cost if, if the cost, the cost, cost to run a second quality control to run, to run a, a second, second quality, quality control, control will go very high. We'll go, we'll go very, very high. high. Of course. Of course. Of course. Right. Let me revise. Let me revise, revise, revise my files. My, my files. Greg. 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 Could you find out? Could you Could find, you out, find out, out, out if the production manager? If, if the, the production manager, manager, manager is around, is around, around, I need him. I need, I need, him, I need him, him to clarify, to clarify, to clarify what the revision step, what the revision step, revision step, step is about. Is about. about. All right, very good, guys. Excellent. Okay, questions about the vocabulary. Questions? You can write it in the chat if you're not sure. You don't want to mention it because you're not sure of this of the pronunciation. You can write in the chat.
So that's it. Everybody understands the vocabulary and um, the pronunciation. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So now I want you guys to practice this conversation, not in pairs, because if you notice, we don't have two people, we have three people. So I'm going to put you into small groups of three people to practice this conversation. Okay. So practice this conversation and then answer these questions that we have here. We have three questions basically. Okay. All right. So I'm going to um, put you guys into the groups. Just give me a moment. Thank you, Mary. Oh. Give me one second. Okay, just a second. Let's see if I can work this. Um, Mm. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you uh, about six minutes to work on this. Okay. Uh, and remember, not only do you have to practice the conversation, but also answer the questions. Okay. All right, so let's open up the rooms. Very mute, Hello, Hello. 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 I'm right here looking for the dialogue in the material. I share it. It must be page 29 or something like that. Uh, it's in page, uh, let me check. And 27. 27? Yeah. Okay. 28, 27. Here we go. Did you find it? Yeah, found it. I'll share it. Okay. Who, who wants to be Lucia and Marta? I'll be Lucia. Marta. Okay. Um, Claudia, would you be Marta and where? Marta. Okay. 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 I, I wonder if you received a cup. I think that uh, the second, what are the two steps of the production process, the method um, Could you also practice the conversation? Uh, just to show. Okay, so, let's do that too. <clears throat> I wonder you received copy. Burma, are you here? Yes. Okay. I am uh, uh, you are Lucia and Marta. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. You begin. Okay. And, and I will be a Greek too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have, thank you. You begin. I Lucia or you Lucia? You are Lucia, I am Marta and Greg. Okay, perfect. Okay. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, you see. Uh, thank you, you, Lucia. Uh, Greg, I have, thank you, you, Lucia. 
No, I am Greg. I told okay. you. I have, I have, I am Marta and Greg. I have, okay. thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. It, it like you uh, to receive the step to verify that we're- Verify, verify. Verify, sorry. Verify that we are ready uh, to start production, production or new shampoo. Remember it's production, not production. Production, sorry, production. production. Right. I like to know of the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Mark, would you mean telling just uh, is the cause? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Mm -hmm. Would you mind tell telling you is the cause around a second quality? Control will go every high, but very high, very high. So. New shampoo. New shampoo. Yeah. Have you guys yeah. practiced the conversation? Yes, teacher. Sure. We practice the conversation. Yeah, good. Okay. good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Then says, what are the two steps? of the production process they mentioned in the conversation. Uh, uh, um, quality control, step. Quality control. Uh, quality control. I could not, if the quality control step should be repeated, the production, uh -huh. the, once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, right? Could you like to tell us if the cause of the wrong second quality? Now we have it, it, to it answer was... uh -huh, the three questions. Uh, the new product is shampoo. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the second the step is... Uh, should be repaired. Two steps. If the quality control. What the control? Uh -huh. The product is finished. Yes. And. Mm -hmm. Have you guys practiced the conversation already? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, we'll finish. Okay, great. Just check in. Okay. Um, quality control is one step, and the other is um, analysis for the production process. I see so. At the beginning. Analysis for the production process. Mm -hmm. Verify. Oh, Say, mm -hmm. revise to, to write the step to verify. Yes, but there is uh, are two steps of the production process that I mentioned in the conversation. Hmm. I'd like to know the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Mm -hmm. And run a second control. Right. And what did Craig suggest about the production process?
He suggested, right? Mm -hmm. He said, I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once yes. the product is finished. That is one step. Mm -hmm. Maybe revision is... Revise to verify. Revise, uh -huh. Revision step is about. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, revision. Because he doesn't know what the revision step is about. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think because I, I can find another step yeah. in the conversation. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, are we finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. All right. I'll see you guys in the main room. Thank okay. you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, you guys ready? Yes. Okay, good. All right, let's check the answers then. So the first question that we have is, what is the new product Luc uh, Lucia, Martha, and Greg are discussing about? A new shampoo. A new shampoo, that's correct. Yes. What are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation. Revise. Um, just give me a second. Okay, so the first answer is a uh, new shampoo. Second one is what are the two steps? The first step is. Is it a quality control? Um, the analysis. Fun. What are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation? The analysis of the product. Mm -hmm. Hold on, give me a moment. I'll okay, take teacher. Give us a copy, teacher. Okay, just give me a second. I don't know if the quality control step should be repeated once production. Okay, so first it's the production. Oh, this is. I think it's the first one is that the production is finished. Right? Then, then we have the quality control, right? if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if the analysis is part of it. Give me a second. Okay. 
revise this step. Just give me a second. Yeah, so the quality control is one. Okay, that's one step. And the other step is um the cost analysis device the other one is the revision step right stuff it's telling us right yeah i even i missed it but really it's already telling us it's the quality control step and the revision step. So those are the two steps. The word step is, is included. So it's, that's the big hint that we have there, the step, okay? And then finally, what did Greg suggest about the production process? Repeat the quality. Repeat once the product is finished. Good. Quality control. Yeah. To repeat, right? Okay, so repeat once the product is finished. That's what he suggested. Very good. Okay, excellent. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, um, I'd like you to, to do the following. I'm going to give you a few minutes right now, uh, maybe about, let me see what time it is. Yeah, about five minutes. Let's work for five minutes. Um, and I want you to create. Um, I want you to create six questions. Six, any, 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 any six questions using yes or no questions. Okay, so basically where the person has to answer yes or no. And then ask information questions where the person um, starts the question with the what, where, when, why, who, which, why. Okay, so three, uh, three of each. Okay, three yes or no questions and three um, information questions right now. Write it down in your notebook. So it's pretty clear. We understand what we're doing. Yeah. Based on the conversation, right? No, 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 no. Any. 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 Ah, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Right. Any questions in general? Three yes or no questions, right? Three yes or no questions and three information questions. Okay. How are you guys doing? Any questions, anything that you want, that I can help you with? No? 
So any questions, any questions at all? No, not yes, for no me. Questions. No. Sorry? Not for me, teacher, thank you. Okay, okay. All right. If I give you about three more minutes, do you think we can, we can finish? Yeah? Yes, teacher. All right, let's give you three more minutes then. Okay, so one more minute. Okay. All right, guys. Um, you should be finished. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. So, um, all right. So we're going to just stop there for a moment. And we have up to this point, we have learned um, that we need to learn how to make indirect questions to make a question more polite, right? To make the person feel more, um, you know, at ease with the question so that they are more willing to answer. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do now indirect questions, but not for yes or no questions, but for open ended questions. So this is what we call indirect questions or information questions, okay? Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see this? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so this is the indirect questions, information questions, okay? So again, uh, we're, we're talking about polite questions, right? So indirect questions are polite questions. But now instead of using um, the, the word if, we're going to use a question word. So we replace the word if with a question word because if is only used when the, the answer is going to be yes or no. WH question word, is like all of the questions, the question words, like what, what are some of the question words that you guys know? What 
What question and words do you guys know? What, who, when, where? Good, what, where, who, what else? What else, guys? What, where, what? What, mm -hmm. what where, why? Who? Why, good, what else? When, who, when, who is there? We can also use which okay. or even how. Okay, so those are our question words. Any one of those. Okay, so we're we're going to replace the word if with a, one of these question words. That's how it works. Okay. So um, okay, so. Uh, the, it's a, exactly the same thing that uh, we saw before, except the only difference is that instead of using if, we're going to use a WH question word, but it's the same. It works exactly the same. So you say, for example, I wonder what the two pieces I need to weld are. Okay. So remember, we always start with our introductory phrase of the indirect question. So we say, I wonder, I'd like to know, would you mind telling us, would you mind let, would you let me know, okay, so those are, we always start with that. Now, in the, our other um, sentence, we, or our other structure, we saw that we can use if, but in this case, we're not going to be using if. Why? Because in this case, we're going to be not answering yes or no questions, but we are talking about open-ended questions. So you give more information. So we say what or when, okay. or how much, or what time. Okay, so those are only a few. After that, what, what comes after the, what, what came after the if? Could you guys remind, remind me? The uh, subject. The subject, exactly. And that's what we're going to do here. For example, the two pieces I need to, to weld. That's the, the subject. Or this one. Um, this one, the provider. Okay. Or this one the provider chain, um, charges, it's all done, the pro, no, no, up to just the provider, okay. And then here, uh, the first batch, after that, what comes after that? Verb. The verb, and if, we need, if we have an auxiliary, we use the auxiliary that is, that is not do or does or did, okay? So in this case, we have are, here we have will send. So here we, there is an auxiliary, a, mo, a modal auxiliary. Here we have charges, and then here we have is, okay? And finally, compliment. The compliment, exactly. So in this one, there's no complement. Here it's the order of the screws. In this one, it's to process the order. And finally, this one is expected to be complete. So just to make sure that you guys did understand this, it's exactly the same as the other one with the difference instead of using if, we're gonna use the question word that we already have. So we have, um, the structure. Is this um, indirect introductory phrase plus question word, the WH question word. 
plus um plus the the verb right uh, but in this case oh no 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 sorry my mistake it's a subject subject plus now we're going to use the verb and if the verb has an auxiliary that is not do dress or did then we can use it And then finally, the complement. Although the complement is optional, for example, in this one, you saw that it was not necessary. Okay. And there you go. So it's exactly the same as the other one with the difference that um, instead of using if, we use another. Um, another, well, a question word, better said, okay. Um, okay, questions so far? No, teacher. Okay. Okay, just give me a second. Um, it's the WH question. Okay, all right, there you go. So this is the structure that we're gonna be using. Now, um, a few minutes ago, I asked you guys to, um, to make some questions. I think we're at the end of our class. Yes, we are. Okay, so what we're going to do is those questions that you made, those six questions, I want you to change those questions from the direct questions that they are, like this one. What are two pieces I need to weld? When will the provider send the order of screws? Right, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I want you to change those to an indirect question, just making sure that you're using the correct structure, right? So remember that in one we use if, in the other one we use the WH question word, but that's pretty much it. Okay. Any questions? No? Okay. I'm going to take your silence as a no. Um, all right. So everybody remember your homework is to change the six questions that you have made into indirect questions. Okay. That's it. You can choose any structure, um, any beginning structure, right? So you can use, would you mind telling us? Would you let me know? Can you tell me? I was wondering, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can use any one that you want, okay? Okay, so it's time for our attendance. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Andres? Present teacher. Claudia? Present teacher. Edgar? Present teacher. Urban? Present teacher. Heidi? Present teacher. Irene? Present teacher. Ivan? Jose Montes? Jose Ayala? Present teacher. Josue? Present teacher. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Uh, Juan, sorry, Terry. Luis. Presentation. Natalia. Ronald. Present teacher. Wendy. Wendy, no. Uh, Warner. Warner, not here. And Yvonne. Present. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Um, so today, eh, bueno, hoy me quedaría supuestamente con Warner, pero al parecer Warner no está. Eh, quiero ver. 
Bueno, eso sería todo. ¿Hay alguien que quisiera utilizar ese espacio? Okay. All right. In that case, guys, that will be all. And I will no see. No sé si la asistencia le envió. Ah. El porcentaje de asistencia. Ah, sí, sí. Gracias, gracias por recordarme. No, no, no había mandado eso. Um, ok, voy a, voy a mandarles. Ahorita me voy a quedar haciendo eso, ok. Entonces nos desconectamos y de todos modos, como ahorita no hay nadie que se va a quedar, entonces eh, voy a utilizar ese tiempo para mandárselo a quienes lo necesitan, ok. Entonces, um, Le voy a mandar un mensajito. Ok. All right, guys. So that's it. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. See you, teacher. Bye, teacher. See you See tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Uh, Jose, are you still there?